Hey there, in today's video I'm going to show you how I create a two color split design for decals or heat transfer vinyl. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring in an image. I come up here to File, Merge, go to my desktop, double click, and I'm going to close this. I'm going to come up here to the right panel and click on Open Trace Panel. I'm going to select this, and I'm going to put it on Let's see, maybe, oops, let's just put it on 93. I'm going to trace it, move this out the way, and if I color this in in, in black, you're going to see that these are open, but you have to, in order to be able to move them individually, you have to right click, release the compound path. But now you're going to see that these are filled in and you don't want that. Because that's all it's going to do. So what you want to do is highlight the whole thing and then come up here to uh, this little icon. Open the, and modify, open the modify panel. And you want to just click on subtract all. And that will remove those little pieces on the inside. Give it a minute. Still thinking. And now you can grab the pieces you need. I really don't need that big bottle. I'm going to group this, keep that, and make sure as far as this one goes, I'm just going to use a knife tool, zoom in, and just slice it. Click escape, go back. I'm just going to come back and pick up these two because weeding these teeth are going to be kind of hard, especially when it's they're these this close together. So I'm just going to use this to pick in the other, other comb. I'm just going to trace it. going to release it, delete these two, color these two black, and the trace, make it black as well, delete that, This would be much easier to weed. You know what I'm going to do? Because I know they use an actual comb. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to... I'm going to use this knife tool. Only be oops, only because right now I can't find the comb that I really like. So I'm just gonna cut 
Cut it like right there. Escape, delete. I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna flip it around. I think that's good enough for me. I'm gonna group it. Now I have my freaking comb. I went ahead and changed some stuff around um, just to make it not so crowded. Um, I do want to make this from heat transfer vinyl. I'm gonna use two different colors, probably maybe red and black. I'm just trying to figure out what, yeah, I think red and black because those look really good on any color shirt. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, let's say I was ready. And I'm going to go ahead and take off this transparency only because I want to be able to use these grid lines. Okay, so let's say I'm ready to send this to the cutter. <clears throat> and I made it the size that I want. And the size that I want it to be is going to be 10.5 by 5.5. And I just had made my adjustments up here. So I want to go ahead and make sure that it's grouped, which it is. And here I remove the white background because I want to rely on this the um, actual cutting mat. I want to use the, um, the measurements here. So you'll see that this is inside the 6 inch by 12 inch box or area. And I have it spaced up, spaced out enough here where it's equal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rely, because this is a 6 inch area in height, I want to cut this in half. I want to slice it. So I'm going to come up here to the knife tool. I'm going to hold my shift key down so it will help me make a straight line, straight across. I accidentally let it go. Sorry. I'm going to go back. Okay, so I'm going to hold it down. Let it slice it. I'm going to hit escape. And you'll see that it actually divided or ungrouped all of this. So you want to make sure that you pick up all your parts that were cut off and what I mean by that is just that <laughs> so go back you want to hit shift and pick up the two little pieces that it did not pick up and that I'm gonna make the top part red hope that made sense and make this appear red the outline and then I'm gonna right click and group it I don't like that red doesn't matter but anyway and then do the same thing with the bottom move it see how it's leaving out that piece of that tooth so shift <laughs> there we go go back only so it lines it back up and then group it actually I am going to do two different things so for that I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Wait, this is my my idea for a salon for a two color decal or two color heat transfer vinyl design on a shirt. And this is again me just grabbing up off of Google and just kind of manipulating it, playing with it. Just kind of get what you want out of it. Um, so I'm, I may or may not add the shirt or the decal but anyway have fun with this the sky's the limit i hope you enjoyed this video until next time